did to my eyebrow. Uh, she was plucking my eyes and my eyebrows, and she got, um, she got like a thingy in it. So I already took a shower today, so now I'm clean, and I put my hair, I'm straightening it, and for a quick tip, I'm taking some oil and I'm putting it in my hair to make it look super sleek. Hashtag don't tell anybody. Hashtag if I get hungry, I'll just eat my hair. Hashtag living. Bye, tips on Friday. Okay, so first, starting off with just a clean face, I'm going to go ahead and take my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, and I'm just gonna apply this all over my face with my beauty beauty blender. Tongue tied. <laughs> One of the biggest things I cannot stress enough is to make sure that you apply your foundation down your neck. You don't want a white line on your face, so just make sure you do that. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking a cream bronzer from e.l.f. and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this on any of the places that I would normally contour with powder bronzer, but I'm just applying it with my finger to give it more of a chiseled look. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my beauty blender again and I'm just going to blend it all out. Now taking my Maybelline concealer in Fair Claire, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this under my eyes. I applied lots and lots of layers because I did not want to look tired and I wanted to make sure that it looked perfect. So I kind of probably went overboard, but eh, whatevs. So I applied it under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and underneath my eyebrows. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking my e.l.f. golden bronzer with my Sigma powder brush and I'm just setting all that foundation that I just applied. I'm taking this really cool stick called, what is it called? It's from Sephora and it's this new stick that I got. It's called um, Nude Stick and it's really cool because one end is a highlight end and another, the other end is a contour end. I'm actually just using the highlighting end on in this video but what I'm doing is I'm applying it under my eyes again where I applied all my found, my concealer under my eyes on the bridge of my nose and underneath my eyebrows and I'm just blending it all out this gave me a really really nice highlight and I just loved it so now I'm taking my bronzer from MAC and I'm contouring my face and then applying blush baby blush to my cheeks moving on to eyes I'm taking this brown shimmery color which has a lot it's a pressed pigment from MAC I absolutely love it I'm applying it to my eyelid um just right to my eye and then I'm taking my 224 blending brush and blending that color also into my Taking a dark brown eyeshadow from MAC with my flat shader brush, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this color right to my outer corner and to my lower lash line. This gave it a really nice effect and I loved the way it complemented my green hazel eyes. So now what I'm doing is I'm just taking a light eyeshadow and applying it to my eyebrows, taking my L'Oreal black eyeliner, applying it to my tight line and also to my waterline, and now it's time to apply some mascara. We'll be right back. So there we have it, the final eye makeup look. So I already straightened it. So I thought since I wanted something to go with my dress and kind of complement my dress, I was like, you know what would be good with my dress is a slicked back ponytail. I love, absolutely love doing slicked back ponytails. I just feel like they look great with any look and it really complemented the whole dress and everything that I was wearing. So I'm just putting in three rubber bands to make sure that's super tight and it pulled back my eyes actually so I couldn't really blink the whole night but it's okay we're good and I'm just taking a piece of hair and wrapping it around the rubber band so you don't see it and I sprayed a little hairspray in my hair and brushed out now taking 
making these really pretty earrings, I'm putting those into my ears. I felt like I needed something to complement my ears, but not something hanging to like overpower the dress, so these went well. Now I'm taking Boldly Bare Lip Liner from MAC and applying it right to my lips. I do this last. I already rinsed my mouth at Listerine and brushed my teeth, but I always like to do this last because otherwise you get the white ring around your lips, and I just was not feeling that. <laughs> now I'm taking Myth Lipstick by MAC as well and applying it to my lips. I just thought this complemented the whole look, and it's just my go-to lip color, and I know it looks good. But I put my makeup on, and I did my horror. I actually, like, re like, I put in a pony because I think it looks good. I think it's gonna look really good with my dress. We decided on that. So that's how my hair is, and my makeup is, like, this smoky. You guys saw the tutorial on this, and that's my makeup and stuff. Um, now I'm just gonna go pee, and I put on this sweatshirt because I had no shirt on before, and there's a toothpaste stain on it, but you're supposed to like zip it out because I don't want to mess up my hair, so that's that. Um, I'm gonna eat something right now. We were gonna go out to eat, but I'm just gonna eat. And I have no toilet paper. I have to pee, and Ashley left no toilet paper. She took my toilet paper. Time to get dressed! <laughs> oh, so